Adventure Time with George and Shane. <laughs> yeah, I want them a good. I've lost George. I can't find him anywhere. But let's go look for him. George, stop sitting in Antoinette's desk. We've got an adventure to do. Come on. Turn around.
what happened yesterday oh yesterday I went to that cool party that was fun and had cake and that was yummy it was yummy and sweet oh I like cake I like sweet things I like a sweet thing like cake and ice cream and chocolate and marshmallows I like marshmallows Oh, I like marshmallows a lot. But don't eat it, just be patient, just wait. Tandy? You're back! Did I get another marshmallow? Oh, this is awesome! Thank you so much, Del! I got another one! I was patient, but I got two marshmallows! I'm gonna eat this now! Oh, that was so worth it! That marshmallow was so good! Do you know who else was patient? Abraham. He waited such a long time to have a baby. Do you know that story? Perhaps we can read it together. Today's Bible story is from the Read and Share Toddler Bible. The stories are retold by Gwen Ellis and illustrated by Steve Smallman. A baby for Abraham and Sarah. Abraham and Sarah wanted a baby very much. They waited and waited, but no baby came. They were too old. Do you know that Abraham was almost a hundred years old? That's really old, even older than me. One day, Three visitors came to Abraham's tent. Please stay with us for lunch, said Abraham. Abraham said to Sarah, please bake some bread. Then Abraham hurried to get some meat to cook. When the yummy food was ready, the three men sat down to eat the meal. God promises that Sarah will have a baby next year, said one of the men. Sarah laughed. <laughs> I'm too old to have a baby, said Sarah. But nothing is too hard for God. The next year, Sarah did have a baby boy. Sarah was so happy that she laughed again. She named her baby Isaac. Isaac means laughing. God promised Abraham a son and God always keeps his promises. God has many promises for you too. And God will keep his promises to you. Abraham and Sarah waited a very long time to have their baby Isaac. And do you know what? It pays to be patient sometimes because we can trust God to always keep his promises. All right, bye kids, see you. You know, God's own son can break the chain that makes you slave to sin and shame. And when you call on Jesus' name, receive his spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience and kindness. Love, joy, peace, goodness and faithfulness. Love, joy, peace, gentleness and self-control. This is a fruit of the spirit of Christ. Fruit is good and it comes to the life that is filled with the power of the spirit. to the life that
chain that makes a slave to sin and shame. And when you call on Jesus' name, you will receive his spirit. You know, God's own son can break the chain that makes a slave to sin and shame. And when you call on Jesus' name, you will receive his spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience and kindness. Love, joy, peace, goodness and faithfulness. Love, joy, peace, gentleness and self-control. This is the fruit of the Spirit of Christ. This is the fruit of the Spirit of Christ. This is the fruit of the Spirit of Christ. Come on now, fruit is good and it comes to the light. There once was a man named Abram. Hello, my name is Abram. And he lived with his wife in the city of Haran. Hello, I am Abram's wife. My name is Sarai. Abram was a good man and he loved his wife Sarai very much. But they didn't have any children and they really wanted children. <sighs> I wish we had some children. Me too. I really want children. One day, God said to Abram, You will become the father of many, the father of a great nation. I promise you that you will have a child of your own one day. Abram and Sarai didn't know how they would ever have children because they were getting very old. Oh, I'm already so old and so is Sarai. I am 75 years old. But I will trust God and what he is saying to us. Yes, we just need to be patient and trust God. So Abram and Sarai waited for God's promise to happen and for them to have children. They waited and waited and waited and many, many years passed. They had gotten older and older and they didn't know if they would ever actually have a child because even though God promised one to them, it still hadn't happened. We are getting so old and we still do not have a child together. I don't think we will ever have a child. I know God promised us one, but we are so old now and I can't possibly have a child at my age. While Abram and Sarai waited for God to give them the child that he had promised them, they got impatient sometimes. Even though God promised them a child, after waiting for many years, Abram had a child with one of his wife's servants because it was hard to be patient for God's promise when they had been waiting for a really long time and had started to think that God wasn't going to give them a baby of their own. I am almost 100 years old now and my wife Sarah and I still don't have a baby of our own. I don't think we ever will. I am way too old to have a baby now. I don't think it will ever happen. One day, God appeared to Abram again and said to him, Do not be afraid, Abram. I am here to remind you of my promise that I made to you all those years ago. But Sarah, Sarah and I are too old now. We could never have a baby. And God said, Trust me, Abram. Even though you haven't always done what I asked and you have forgotten to trust me sometimes, I am keeping my promise to you. I will make you the father of many nations. Your family will be so big that you won't be able to count them all, just like it is impossible to count all the stars in the sky or all the grains of dust on the ground. It will be impossible to count how big your family will be. I am going to change your name to Abraham, and your wife's name will be changed to Sarah. Your new name, Abraham, means father of many. Soon I will give you and Sarah a baby boy. Abraham and Sarah couldn't help but laugh, <laughs> because they didn't think that they would ever have children. They were too old. <laughs> My wife is too old to have a child. I don't believe that she ever will. But I will trust God because he said it will happen. 
<laughs> How will I ever bear a child? I am way too old. It is impossible. We're too old now. Abraham found it hard to believe because Sarah and him were too old to have any children. One day, soon after God had told Abraham that he was going to have a boy, three visitors came and spoke with Abraham. Sarah, let me tell you about what happened today. Three men came and visited me and I offered them some bread and milk and they ate with me. But guess what they told me, Sarah? What did they tell you, Abraham? They told me that they will come and visit us next year and we will have a son by then. Oh, Abraham! Sarah was so happy that she gave Abraham a big hug. Spring came and Sarah gave birth to a boy and they called him Isaac. Abraham and Sarah were very happy and they thanked God for their beautiful boy, Isaac. Thank you, God, for keeping your promise. Even all these years later and you give, you're giving us our son, Isaac? Yes, thank you, God, for Isaac and for keeping your promise, even though Abraham and I doubted you and never thought that we would have a son. Sometimes it can be really hard to be patient and trust God especially when it can take a really long time for something to happen. Abraham and Sarah, they had to be patient for 25 years before their son Isaac came and they didn't think that that would ever happen. But God always keeps his promises and he also always knows what is going on, more than we know. There are a lot of things in life that we have to be patient about. Waiting for the weekend to hurry up and come or waiting for Christmas to come. Or maybe you can't wait for your birthday or a special occasion where you get to hang out with your friend. The Bible teaches us that we need to learn patience. Many things in life can take time and the more patient that we can be, the more that we're going to be able to enjoy life. Because if we spend all of our time being impatient and just waiting for everything to hurry up and come or happen, then we end up missing out on what's happening right now, on what God is doing in our lives every day. I want to show you guys something. This is a scarf of mine. You see, can you, you guys can only see this much of the scarf right now. And it looks like a very small scarf, doesn't it? But what if I pull it out until all of the scarf is showing? Oh, now there is a lot of scarf showing. In the beginning, you can only see this much of the scarf though. That is how our life, that is kind of like how our life with God is. We can only see this much of what is going on about our life, but God, he sees all of this. So we need to try and be patient and trust God because he knows a lot more than we do and he sees a lot more than we do too. Patience is one of the fruits of the spirit and it isn't always something that is easy for us to have. Sometimes when I feel impatient, I like to ask God to help me be more patient. Why don't we ask God together now to help us all with our patience? Hey God, I thank you that you are with us always, Lord, that um, you see the bigger picture, that you always know what's going on, Lord, more than we know. And I just pray that you help us to be patient, Lord, um, to trust in you and to know that you are looking out for us and that you know what's going on, even if sometimes we don't. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, guys. I hope that you all enjoyed the kids spot. Before we go, I want to share with you some of the amazing artworks that some of our friends from Kids Church have completed. Thank you to Jemima, Patricia and Corbin for sending in a photo of your work. How great do these pictures look? And thank you to Annabelle for sending in a photo of your Play-Doh creation story from one of our activities in the jars. It looks so awesome. If you guys would like for me to display your artworks, uh, for our kids spot, then please send them a photo of them to me of the activity that you've completed and your name as well. It can be from any of the previous week's activities that we that I've put up for you guys to complete. And I will make sure that we all get to take a look at your masterpieces. Well, I hope that you guys all have an incredible rest of your week and I can't wait to see you all again on Sunday. Bye.